Election workers tell us that the crowds at polling locations have been decent, which they hope is a good sign for overall turnout. Governor Andy Bashir and First Lady Brittany Bashir started their day at a polling location in Frankfurt. We want to, to get out and vote to show the people of Kentucky um, w what an incredible option it is. Bashir is in the midst of a 10 day bus tour in the final days of his reelection campaign. Rapper Jack Harlow joined him at a get out the vote rally at U of L. For the last year and a half, we've been staying in touch and having that type of relationship. It's been very organic. We've been having dinners, get to know each other. And I just want to say this is a hell of a stand-up guy right here, so I think y'all are all holding the right signs. Attorney General Daniel Cameron, who is also in the midst of a statewide bus tour, was in western Kentucky in his quest to unseat Bashir, while fellow Republican Michael Adams was voting early at the Kentucky Center for African American Heritage. If you recall, back in the primary, we had beautiful weather during early voting and then horrible storms on Election Day, tornadoes on Election Day. People got uh, disenfranchised by the weather. So don't take any chances. We're supposed to have some ugly weather next week. Go ahead and vote now. Adams expects voter turnout to be somewhere around 40%, which he says is typical for a non-presidential election year. I voted now early in every election since I've been in office, and not since 2020 have I seen folks lined up at the very beginning on the first day of early voting. It's not a bad line. I was out of there in five minutes, but it was crickets the last three times I voted early, and we've got a strong turnout today. I'm hearing reports that the East End Louisville, it's the same thing, and Shelbyville, it's the same thing. That's a good thing. Early voting continues at certain locations on Friday and Saturday. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.